Mike's Daily Podcast. I have not done a podcast since was uh, wow. Mike's Daily Podcast. Yeah, that's how long it's been. Not very daily for the show that's called Mike's Daily Podcast, but I have to be fast with my excuse uh, that because I had to oh take care of a bunch of things at work when. And blowed up, and I had to take care of it all. So, Mike's daily podcast. That's my excuse. I really, I could not. I had no time. So, Mike's wow, February tenth, daily, ten days ago, podcast was the last podcast. Yikes! Yeah, I am so awful. And it's F F episode one thousand. 985, 1985, my friend, that year. Uh, Don Henley. No, I think he was in 84. I can see you. That was that year, 85. Pet Shop Boys, West and Girls. We built this city, Starship. 85 is as clear as a bell in my head. Isn't that funny how that happens? Where have I been? Well, I have to be honest with you. I honestly... And I'm on, am I being honest? I guess I am. But this is episode 1985, 1985, 1985. And I like counting numbers like that because it's important to tell you that I've done a lot of podcasts. That's the whole thing with this show. It's I've done a whole bunch. And yes, maybe not every day, maybe not daily. Maybe I have accidentally misspelled my description in my description of the podcast, I may have used uh, uh, looking into life's deeper meaning. And and it's life and its deeper meaning. And instead of its with, uh, you know, when it's possessive and it's its, you, you drop the apostrophe. I left the apostrophe in like an idiot, like the guy that never knew how to spell anything. And here's today's podcast picture. Like the bad grammar guy. The podcast picture today will probably be something from my trip. Yes, I buried the lead. I have not told you yet what I've been doing for the past week. And it's quite simple, my friend. I have been traveling and I've been getting away from it all. And when you get ready for a trip, oh my gosh, the fit hits the shan and everything happens and you can't get it all done. And then I hadn't done my podcast in so long. I was thinking about what is this podcast? What is going on? Basil, he enjoyed the trip. We, because, oh, you know what? I'm actually taking care of as we speak. That's right, Basil. Okay, I know you hate bad grammar too. I have now taken the apostrophe out of the it's. And now it's it's. I-T-S. In fact, that would be a great name for this show. It's, it's it. Since uh, since 2009, Mike Matthews has brought you a daily podcast, occasionally interrupted, about life and its deeper meaning while enjoying the characters at Cafe Anyway. Listen and tell your friends. Okay, you might also notice in that description that Cafe Anyway doesn't have the little umlaut over the E. I mean, the accent over it. Sorry. Folks... Here's what happened. I thought I'd have my normal life and everything was planned out and I'd have time to do this podcast. And I think, yeah, it was February 10th. Was I at? I might have been in Podcastro Valley Mont that day. At any rate, uh, suddenly everything got really busy at work. And I had to basically fix a bunch of stuff. And take care of... uh, By the way, if you ever fix anything for your job, don't go and suffer in silence. Let people know. You put that extra effort in. Don't be a a good Samaritan and go, uh, you know, oh, I don't need the recognition. I don't need that. No. I'm okay. It's all right. It's no big deal. It is a big deal. You put a lot of work into it. And if you don't acknowledge it and the hard work that you did... You're going you're gonna to get bitter. You're going to harbor some resentment towards people. 
So come on. Let, come on, people now. Smile on your brother. And make sure that you let others know you put some extra effort in. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That was an Obama drop I used to have, but I don't have access to that drop anymore. You'll just have to play it in your own brain head. Hey, so uh, as a manager, as someone that has to manage people, do you manage people? Have you ever been in a managerial position? It's interesting the uh, type of excuses you get when people can't make it to work. Um, And then there's the thing where it just doesn't pan out the way you think it would. I I will tell you this right now. If you are a boss, there is two extremes always when you hire someone. You're either incredibly impressed... Like, oh my gosh, I am not worthy. This person is amazing. Or you are so let down. Always. It's either one or the other. Just letting you know. That's the excitement. That's the agony and the ecstasy that is being a manager. And those people that do a really good job, you need to tell them. They need to toot their own horn because they're doing a great job and they're helping you out. Somewhere in Podcastro Valley We are in Podcastro Valley Where I believe If I'm not mistaken Maybe the last podcast I may have mentioned the fact that Podcastro Valley got some serious wins About a week Two weeks ago uh, Knocked over some eucalyptus trees They fell down on some houses That's the other thing I was talking about how life Unpredictable Never can plan for anything My life got crazy Last week I was planning to Okay I'm gonna You know Take care of this This and this Before I go on my trip And Yes I'm still bearing The lead of where I went on my trip And Oh I did I, I said that Did I say where it was As we go outside a cafe anyway We're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast Somewhere in Podcastro Valley And yes I had so much to do You know Getting ready for that trip You gotta get everything Oh Does everybody know Where everything is Okay I don't want a bunch of text messages No one better text message me Of course they always do But no one better And then Something big happened And I had to take care of it Okay Well That's life It's unpredictable Someone that I work with His mom Maybe No longer with us By the time you hear this podcast Yes It's that dire It's that terrible It's that that's how unpredictable life is And some people throw themselves into religion Because that's predictable That's There's a black book That I can read And, and I can believe And there are a bunch of believers Also That surround me And perhaps you know, Or you throw your faith into something completely crazy Like I don't know, Mount Shasta and the aliens that live inside of it. (laughs) That's where I went, everybody, inside of Mount Shasta. No, I went to Mount Shasta over the past, let's see, four days. It was four days of absolute fun and bliss. Oh, hey, it looks like my friends that listen to this show, Robert and Christy, are celebrating their wedding anniversary. I think it was four years ago Because And I only know it Not because I Follow them on social media I do But Actually one of them Does not believe In social media at all And Good for him No But here's the thing Is I got In my little Google photos thing A little um, Four years ago This happened And it was a wedding reception That I played The music at I brought my laptop And Played requests It was fun, and I danced a little bit. And there's some great pictures from it. Okay. But back to this whole thing about um, my trip and Shasta. And some people believe that there are aliens below the uh, surface of the mountain. They're called the Lumineers or the Luminites or the Lumines or something to that effect. And then my lovely lady friend, who loves Shasta ever so... She played for me a video on YouTube 
that some Australian guy did. He had a really thick Australian accent. And he's like, he, uh, below the, the surface of the Mount Shasta, there's a bunch of aliens that live underneath it. And I'll talk to these people. And so he talks to these people that live at Mount Shasta. And oh my gosh. Okay, first off, everyone he interviewed was white. Everyone he interviewed was probably really high. In fact, he shows one of the guys who looked a little bit like, oh, the guy in the band of Monsters and Men. Is that the band? Don't listen to a word I say. Hey, that guy, that little guy with the kind of the beard, the kind of the millennial beard thing. Yeah. And he and, and this guy was smoking the pot on the camera. In the lens of the camera, he was pot inhaling. And that's fine, whatever, but still, hippies, Shasta. That's the one thing I can't... I love... Okay. I, I just started two sentences and didn't finish them, okay? I'm, should I finish any sentences? That's the question. Here's the thing. I love all people, but I must admit, if I get one type of person all the time, it gets on my nerves. Por ejemplo, you have in Shasta wall-to-wall hippies. Is there much diversity? No. According to my lovely lady friend, no. The one thing about the Bay Area, especially even in Podcastro Valley, mega diversity. Oh my gosh. When I go to Fremont every day, I am I am just like I can't believe. It's like I've got the entire world. Everybody's represented in in Fremont. It's quite nice. And all kinds of different foods. And the Bay Area is known for its diversity. Okay. However, Mount Shasta not so much. It is a beautiful beautiful thing of nature that sits there all white. And I should, I will, (laughs) it's white, so therefore it attracts a lot of white people, I guess. But no. Oh, and then the aliens that live underneath the surface of this, supposedly, that live underneath the surface of the mountain are always dressed in white, and they're white people. This sounds a little Nazi-ish, don't you think? That's the one thing I don't like about Shasta. But at any rate, I am dancing in this picture, in this podcast picture, by uh, a creek. And oh, we were over at this hot uh, mineral spring. It wasn't actually a hot spring. Was it hot? I guess it it was a spring that they tapped into and you pour it into your bathtub. They got a bathtub for you. And you sit in the tub and it's mineral water and it bombards your skin and it makes your skin so smooth. And I'm telling you that I am not the type of person that believes in this type of thing I am not a big advocate Of oh natural oils Or oh it comes from the earth Or oh whatever and put it on your skin But let me tell you my friend I was converted Because I got out of there And I looked down at my hands And my hands I've talked about this before My hands are at This time of year get so chapped And uh, one of my wonderful listeners Sylvia gave me some stuff once to help me with it And that helped a lot But let me tell you Getting out of the tub And drying off And I didn't even notice this until I was completely dry I was all clothed and ready to go And I looked down at my hands And they were smooth They were So now they're all wrinkled again But they were at that moment They were super smooth I'm like wow that's pretty cool So what you do is you jump into this bath With the mineral water And they tell you don't soak longer than seven minutes It'll irritate your skin Then you get out You go into this hot hot room This hot sauna But it's not a steam type sauna It's just hot heat It's a a sweat lodge basically And it was founded This um, Stuart Mineral Springs was founded And that's where I am in this podcast picture uh, I'm I'm actually by the creek That goes by it Looking like I'm about to step off this rock Oh, you know what? Wait, that's not from there. Oops. No, this is a this is Nay 
Nay Falls. Nay Falls near Lake Sisku Siskui. So I don't know everything up there now. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the names up there of the of the Mount Shasta area. But the, it's an old where I'm at in this picture actually was an old mineral spring lodge that was built in the 1880s. Long since ruined, fell apart, fell into ruins, into ruin. And there's this little like ledge that was made, must have been part of some building that was there decades and decades ago, possibly centuries ago. And I look like I'm stepping off into the creek. But we walked around there at this, uh, this interesting falls area and it stunk of sulfur. And there were a couple of pools where water was still bubbling up out of the earth. And we saw this these falls called the Fairy Falls. I'll have to post a picture of that too. But Stewart Mineral Springs is uh, quite a ways from this spot. It's actually about 20 minutes north of Mount Shasta in the hills. So after you sweat in the sweat lodge, you jump into the cold water creek. The cold, cold water. Something like 38 degrees this water was. And it just stung and it hurt. And I got in up to about my knees. Not the first time. The first time I just stepped in it and got out and said no. But I went through this cycle about six times. And by the last time I was able to get up to my knees and dip my... um, Wrists in And then I got a little water out And put it on top of my head And my body was fine with it But some people just jump all the way in This time of year when the water is so cold That's crazy Okay, real quick Are you in a uh, uh, Company That you created In other words Are you in a small business This is amazing to me I, I, people that start a small business are, are small business owners Amaze me And I guess it's Small business month Is that it? Is it uh, Okay So people that start their own businesses If you are even thinking about it And I think everyone's considered it at some point It's the people that are really Gung-ho And do their research that actually succeed at it But I've known so many people that have tried Including my mom My mom was somewhat successful She had a video store for over over a decade I think it was almost two decades Until Blockbuster Caused her to go out of business And then after that uh, Of course Netflix put Blockbuster out of business So touche But uh, she did it all on her own Pretty much And I gave her a little help but there are four steps towards starting a business. If you're considering starting a business, here's something that you might want to know. Do your market research. Is there an opportunity for your business to be a success? Write up a business plan. The roadmap on uh, how to structure, run, and grow your business. Fund your business. How much do you need to get started and to keep you going while waiting for income? Do you have it on hand? Or do you need to raise the money? And finally, pick a location. Piccolo. 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 Pick a location. Even if you're starting an online business out of your home, that can affect taxes, legal requirement requirements, and revenue. And more information can be found at SBA. That would be Small Business... Uh, what's the A for? Apples. Dot gov backslash business No, oh, come on There's like 50 things I'd have to tell you At any rate, it's in the latest Costco Magazine Which I read often on my podcast I must admit um, I was gonna go into A little bit of Oh, I'll just say this real quick Because this is fast There's a guy that you know If you ever watched the TV show The Biggest Loser I was forced to watch it Whilst I was married My ex-wife enjoyed watching it All the time She was really interested in losing weight And I was always about You know being better health And I had a few pounds to lose as well So I would watch it with her And you get all sucked into the drama 
And then after a while, as someone who has worked in the entertainment industry for a long time, I see that it's all fake. And that there's stuff they're not showing you, and that there's stuff that's edited, and there's stuff that's done just for drama effect. And anyway, uh, the lady Jillian Michaels, she has a huge self-help, healthy exercise type podcast. Very popular. The other host from that show that you may remember is Bob Harper. Uh, He came out on the show, although it was pretty obvious for many years. He kept it a secret, but then finally came out. For 17 seasons, he was on that show. He was a trainer, and then he became the host after, oh, who was the blonde? Oh, I can't think of her. She's on Hallmark Channel all the time now. Harper and the show uh, have returned to the small screen on a different network. And health is more important than ever after Bob suffered a heart attack uh, two years ago. Did you know that? Actually, 2017. He has tips for a healthy heart since uh, February is Heart Health Month as well. Pay attention. Listen to the red flags your body sends up. Reduce stress. Commit to reducing your stress levels. Take time to take a break. Recharge and breathe. Perhaps soak in a mineral bath. And finally, change your diet. Changing your diet is a process. And it has to be a a behavior change. Talk to your doctor about which diet may work best for you. What diet would work best for you? Hmm. Okay. That I I sufficiently bored you, didn't I? Hey, there's a couple people here at Cafe Anyway, and we should say hi to them at this point, because that's what we usually do at this point of the show. Hi, Mark! It's Benita the Rodeo Queen! How ya doing? That's a disgruntled fiddle player until you would. What? You go to uh, Mount Shasta and you saw a bunch of hippies, that sounds like absolute hell. No, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I think I did talk to a hippie or two. They're very nice. Yeah, I don't like them. Listen, the Scruntle Fiddle Player, there's so much to see and enjoy up in Shasta. You should go sometime. Okay, I'll think about it. Look who else is here. Oh, Mike, I make the delicious soup here. Have some right now. I'll cut you. Oh, boy. It's got kombucha in it. You know, they serve kombucha at a lot of places in the... Shasta. Kombucha! Oh, we talked to this young girl who's working at this restaurant called Sparky's. Uh, I think her name was Laurel. And she was just the most optimistic little. And my lovely lady friend and I were talking to her, and, and she was saying how, oh, yeah, I'm going to college. I'm, I'm, I'm going to it's some college up there in the Shasta area. And there's a lot of cults up there, too. You got to be careful. And that her brother wasn't doing well. He had some kind of large tumor type thing on his ribs, but it wasn't threatening his heart. So he was, after surgery, would most likely be okay. Uh, But he was down at the UC Davis area, and she was going to go visit him. And she was just so positive about the whole thing. I mean, life throws crap at you. It throws the most unpredictive things, and uh, you can't predict them. It's in the future it's a, it's it's a, it's in the unknown, and you just have to deal with it and have a healthy attitude. And people like that remind me that when the bad stuff hits the fan, that that is what you got to do is stay positive. And she was so positive, and we tried to give her a little encouragement as well. But she said that her mom cried a lot, and when her mom cried, it made you know her brother cry, or just made him feel uneasy. To the point that this young lady, Laurel, said to her mom, Mom, you got to kind of watch it. Watch the crying because you're, you're making my brother nervous. And it's already a stressful enough situation. So can, can you lay off the crying? <laughs> to which I said, you know what? Just some people, it, it's a good thing that they cry. Because if you hold it in, it's even worse. But at any rate, so that's life, everybody. That's life And just the best of luck with you And I'll continue doing the podcast I will be honest with you Had I done the podcast yesterday It would have been awful Because I was so stressed out and so tired After starting, you know, back up at work After my four days off And then plus 
the four days off Couldn't do the podcast then It was so much to do then And relax and, and regroup Regroup No wait I wasn't watching Or uh, taking Gwyneth Paltrow crap Is it called goop? It's the goop No I wasn't reg- I was regrouping That's what I meant I was regrouping myself And recharging And now I return with this Funky strange Hopefully helpful podcast for you And if the goop that uh, Gwyneth Paltrow sells Whatever it's called If that works for you I would love to hear about that You can call me 336-MM-DAILY That's 3 plus 3 equals 6MM As in Mike Matthews Daily As in what this podcast will try to be from now on But there is other interesting things that happen A lot of interesting stuff happened on the trip That I haven't told you about So I will get to that next show Next podcast it will be the wonderful Madame Rutabaga, Valentino, and Bison Bentley. Thank you for listening. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.